Hi folks, this is Steinbrook from Steinair again, here to just talk a little bit about solder. Um, we'll give you a more detailed video here before too long on actual soldering and the process, but I thought for a moment we'd talk about actual solder. We have these little tubes of solder for sale on our website, and um, the reason we have these little tubes is because there's no need for the average person to go buy one of these big giant spools of them, which is over a pound and approximately 500 feet of solder. Nor should you go down to the uh, hardware store and buy something that looks like this. Big, fat, ugly stuff. Um, we picked the appropriate type that we like to use. It's uh, We usually use Kester, but whatever brand doesn't matter too much. Um, this is just a standard rosin core solder. Um, if you look at it, you can see it's a uh, 31 thousandths in diameter. And I'll show you in a second here why these size is um, nice to have it so small. and. Uh, also approximately 6644, which means 66% lead or 10, and then, um, or 10 to lead uh, ratio, I'm sorry about that. So the reason we use this little stuff is when we're wiring wires together, like this wire that we have shown here, this happens to be just like a 22 gauge uh, ground wire, is the fat stuff is really tough to use with nice, delicate soldering irons. It's bigger than the wire, and it's bigger than the tip of the iron. If we look at an iron and we look at the solder, it's really a mess even to start getting it to melt. It will, but it's just not any fun. So we like this little stuff because it's nice and small, and you can see in comparison to the size of the uh, soldering iron, it's nice and tiny, and it also melts quickly. So if we're going to solder something like our joint here, we can nicely and accurately get right down to the wire itself and not have solder glop all over. When you use the big stuff, you end up glopping solder all over and it looks just terrible. So we try not to use that as a whole. So you'll see, it's just nice to push this. You can push this little stuff, and I just use it right out of the tube, but you can spo spool some off and use it spooled off as well. Um, just take a chunk, a couple inches long, and use it right against uh, the wire. See, we can just feed it right onto the wire real nicely like that, and uh, then we're done. Whereas if we tried to do that with this big stuff, we'd have quite a struggle and a mess. And we'd have, if I put some on there, you'll see we get too much melted and it dribbles down on the bench and we just have solder all over, it's just a mess. So we like this little stuff. There's about 14, 13 feet of it on the, in this little spool, enough to do several airplanes worth of the average soldering. So again, you can check it out at our website. It's www.steinair.com. Thanks and have a good day.